Hello everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So I'm gonna be real with you guys for a little bit um, without dwelling on it too much in this voiceover. I'm not feeling like super well these days, just like mentally. I think the whole it's cold and it's dark outside it's kind of getting to my head a little bit, also the sleep deprivation. So sorry for being a little bit slow on making content, but um, it's just, I don't know. I'm just in an odd space head-wise, if that makes sense. I don't know, headspace-wise? You guys know what I mean. Um, so, but I wanted to, the other day, I was finally feeling like, okay, I can build something. Um, today I really feel like building something. So I sat down and I built this. It is a wintry house because I'm feeling like building some of those these days. I really want to get in that Christmas kind of mood and that is um, snowy for me. <laughs> Even though it doesn't really snow much these days. Well, it's actually quite white outside today, but I think it's mostly because it's frosty. Um, so I think it's just straight up ice instead of snow, which is a little bit sucky, but uh, not as fun as snow at least. So... I just, I started out building this, even though I knew that I was gonna do it in snow, I started out building this during the summer in The Sims, just because then I could see roof textures, then I could see uh, terrain paint as well, and I did most of the landscaping. Actually, I think during not snow, it changes a little bit throughout the video is my point, but um, it's, I hope it's not confusing. I hope it's not annoying to watch. It was super annoying to change the season all the time and the weather and stuff, but it's basically just to make sure that the house actually doesn't look stupid without snow covering it. So, but yeah, I just, I really need to get in like a Christmassy kind of mood and I think it hit me and then I just, my mood has just been falling like crazy the last couple of weeks. So I kind of got out of it again, but um, I'm desperately trying to get in that mood again. So if you got any Christmas movies or something like that, let me know. I think I would really enjoy just lying on the couch with a book with a Christmas movie running in the background. I've already watched Home Alone 1 and 2 and The Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Is that what it's called? I think so. <laughs> and what else have I watched? Die Hard as well, and some other one, I've, I'm pretty sure I've watched more than that. Or like watched, watched, it's debatable because I've been reading at the same time. Um, but yeah, if you got any, let me know. I would really appreciate it, so. But today we're building this house, and it's supposed to be like a simple, wintry kind of house, so it's not cold on the inside, it's very warm in the color scheme. I just wanted to... It's a slightly modern house, so don't think like, um, not contemporary, but modern. And then I've just made everything very warm and like this like uh, very warm brown color because it just brings me warmth in some weird way. I don't know if that makes any sense, but maybe you can relate to it. And just try to make everything very cozy and not... Not trying to go for a cottage vibe, even though those are definitely the most cozy in my opinion, but <laughs> trying to just make everything very like family home-like and warm and cozy at the same time. And then with modern vibes. So that's what we're doing today. I decided as well, um, this is for a family, so we have room for two parents, one or two parents. And there's also a teen's bedroom, but it's actually in the garage because I just like the idea of that. I think it's super cool for, I know that as a teenager, I was maybe a little bit lucky because, but at the same time, you could also argue that it's not necessarily lucky. <laughs> so I used to live with my dad, which I think I've mentioned a couple of times on the channel. I mainly lived with my dad. Sometimes I go to my mom's, but mainly live with my dad's. Um, and by the time, my voice is just not working properly today. Let's just ignore it. If it ever cracks, you can feel free to giggle about it. It's fine. Um, I don't know what's going on with it, so... <laughs> Let's just, anyway, just so you know, there's your warning. But uh, by the time that I became a teenager, my both of my big sisters had kind of moved out. They're a little bit older than me. So we had a, this sounds very extravagant, but we lived in a very old house, but it's a three-story house and that's including the basement. And the upper floor was very small as well. So it sounds like a lot, but it's just like one of those, it wasn't a big house is what I'm trying to say. It was a or it was like a medium-sized old, old house. 
a little bit rundown, definitely needed some tender loving care, you know, that sort of thing. But because it was just him and I, I kind of had my own space in the basement. And also at some point in the, I almost kind of want to call it an attic, but on the second floor. So I had a lot of like private time or a lot of not private time, that sounds weird, privacy to myself. And I know that as a teenager, I really appreciated that. So I think, I think I've talked about this in other voiceovers too, but there's just something about wanting a little bit more privacy when you're a teenager. And especially if you're living in a, in a house, not this specific house, but in, in a house with a lot of younger siblings, for example, I could imagine it just being a little bit like you want some, some privacy. Um, you just kind of want to be left on your own sometimes and stuff because that's I, that's what I remember it being like at least as a teenager. <laughs> so I figured it would be kind of fun for the teen to have their own little space out in the garage instead. So it's set up like that and that's where the second bedroom is. But as for like the main part of the house, we have, we enter into the kitchen and also the dining area, which I know some people here find super annoying, but I personally don't. So <laughs> that's just... Actually, I would say it's more normal to walk straight into a hallway here, but then the second room after that is a lot of the time actually a kitchen. So it's, it's to me, it makes more sense to walk straight into the kitchen than into the dining room, but either, like, or neither actually fully makes sense to me. Anyway, we have the discussion so many times, it's because I keep getting called out whenever I do stuff like this, where you walk straight into the kitchen. Anyway, but there's two doors. I actually decided to place the mailbox by the back door, just because I felt like it didn't fit by the front door. Don't know if that's annoying, but you're free to place down a separate mailbox as well if it is. But aside from the kitchen and dining room, we have a hallway with access to a bathroom and that's also where there's access to the parents' bedroom and then you walk straight down into this like big uh, living room situation, which I'll admit, once I started decorating the living room, it hit me that I was intimidated by the size of that room, so <laughs> I was really trying to figure out how to fill it up but we'll see once we get like this is the this is the living room situation it's quite big so we'll see once we get to it if you like how it's decorated i think it makes sense i think it has like a natural flow to it but it might not make sense to every person on the planet which to be honest I'm not expecting anyway, so it's just, it makes sense to me. I also just realized that I forgot to place down a bowl for a pet, and that annoys me. I'm gonna have to do that before I upload this to the gallery, but um, yeah, that's a thing. So other than that, what else do I have to say on the whole? I decided to go for a different color scheme for the teens area, so you'll see that later on. That one is definitely very contrasty to the rest of the house but it's also supposed to be their own personal space like they have free reigns when it came to decorating it if you get what i mean and so it's just a completely different vibe out there but i actually like how that looks i like how it's just kind of like yeah their own personal space to do with whatever they want you know and as for other color scheme stuff that i wanted to mention I actually started out wanting this house to be white and then it hit me that the roof was going to look all white because of the snow. So, and it was going to completely blend into the snow as well. So that wouldn't really work as well as I wanted it to. And so I designed, decided in the end to make it brown, I think, because I just like how, and that's probably also why I brought this color into the house, but I just like how brown and white looks together. I think... I think this like warm, warm, deep brown looks really nice with white. Um, so, and obviously snow is white, so you know, it just kind of fits together that way. I think it's because it just brings warmth to it for some reason. I don't know, it just looks nice. So that's the color I decided to go with, even though I played around with a couple of different ones for the exterior of the house, like green and blue for example, but the brown just tapped me so I, I stuck with it. So you'll probably see a couple more, I don't know about tomorrow, what was my plan for tomorrow? I can't remember right now, but I promise that I'll be uploading a little bit more than I have the last couple of weeks uh, throughout the rest of December. I have some plans and stuff like Christmas houses, I did get a question on the last video, where was my Christmas house? But I haven't built it yet. <laughs> like, I'll get to it, okay? It's not Christmas yet. It's the 14th today. We're still 10 days from. 
if you celebrate it like we do over here. So um, I know that some of you are going to be like, what do you mean? It's the 25th. But no, for us, it's the 24th. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Why would I change my traditions? I don't know. <laughs> Not happening. Um, so yeah, there'll be a couple more up. Um, and also just some houses that for some reason just have like cozy vibes. I've already found like inspiration pictures and stuff. So also, right, this was actually inspired by one of those houses that I found on that archive that I've linked on a couple of videos by now um but I don't know maybe I'll link this house in the description if I remember I just have a tendency to not remember because I don't know I'm a goldfish I suppose so I don't know what's up with that but it's like as soon as the video is up on the channel and the description is fixed and everything I just move on to the next thing so I have a tendency to forget but yeah, that's a thing. But this was inspired by one of those houses and I thought this house was actually super cool because it was it was like a, a rectangle, the original house, but it was built in a way that made it possible to add to it. So it's what, it was like an expandable house, I think it's what they called it. I can't remember the exact term, but I thought it was cool and I was like, I gotta try this and then I realized that if I just build the original one, the rectangle, it would be super tiny <laughs> and also just the rectangle. So I decided to build the expanded house, but I also realized that for there to actually be room for more than just two sims and like more than just one bedroom, I had to build the expanded house. It also did not come with the, the original didn't come with a garage, so. But this also means that the house is no longer expandable. <laughs> so that is the thing. I mean, I'm sure you could add a little bit to it here and there. You could possibly ignore that it's a garage as well and add like a hallway leading to it or something. You know, there's different things that you can still do, but I like the idea of this like actual real life house just being like, you could place it down and then add bits and bops to, or bits and bops. You know what I mean, like squares here and there, boxes here and there to it. But also because it just looked like this super cute, simple, kind of like, I don't know, super down to earth, um, something like that family home. And for like for a family that's still growing and that's why they can still add on to it. Or if the, uh, you know, cause different homes, different households. So you could always just, if you're wanting to build a house, you could build one that fit with your family instead of, or just household. It doesn't have to be a family. Um, instead of like, you know, you know what I mean? I don't know how to finish that sentence. Trust, yesterday I was having so many issues with this. Like I can start sentences and then I just don't know how to finish them. But you guys have a tendency to just read my mind when we come into situations like this. So I'm expecting you to understand, okay? <laughs> okay, um, great. I'm so glad we're on the same page here, but yeah, it was just a bit of a struggle. I don't know. Trust me when I say it, I really don't want to like we're not gonna rant about it in this video, but like sleep these days is not working for me at all. And it's really, I feel like it's hitting my brain now. I feel like I'm actually taking sleep tea. So for those of you who, whenever I mention it, um, say that I have to take melato, I don't know how to pronounce that in English, but you know that the word, yes. I have like tea that has a little bit of it in it. And sometimes I, I do take, I drink a little bit of it in the evening, but the thing is it hits my body, but it doesn't hit my brain or my head. So like, I'm still wide awake, but my body feels like it's sleeping. It's so annoying and it's so weird. <laughs> it makes me so woozy. I don't know. And I talked with my mom about it and she was like, oh no, it's not doing what it's supposed to. Your mind can't shut off. And like, no, no, it really doesn't shut off ever. It's so annoying. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we're not gonna, we're just gonna move on now. But um, I don't remember why I start. See, memory, it's just not working. This is for the parents' bedroom though. So this fits with the rest of the house a little bit better than actually the color scheme in here was mainly inspired by the one that I ended up going for in the, uh, living room so we're using a little bit just to avoid everything being like black and brown and beige I did end up adding a little bit of blue to this room and then also I think there's a little bit of green in the 
dining dining slash kitchen because there's the stove is like a blue green kind of color it's a very nice color actually i very much like it but then for the living room i checked the swatches for those couches they're from seasons by the way and i don't know that green is just a lot <laughs> so i ended up going for the blue instead and liked it with all the brown so i brought that into the parents bedroom as well but it's just supposed to be cozy in there and fit with the rest of the house and then we're gonna have some fun in here because this is for the teen so i decided to go for actually straight up inspired by winter and we're just gonna turn it into a color scheme so it's very light in here it's very light blue lilac lavender with a little bit of pink as well i wanted this mural as well to have the same kind of color scheme to it so i can't because obviously there's a garage door and it's still supposed to be like a renovated garage i didn't want to remove the door um because then it wouldn't have been on the outside either i don't know it just made sense to me okay but there is something funny you can do with this door it's from city living so if you have a sim like I do when I build, I always have an active household on the lot. So I had her, because I couldn't figure out if there's a way to do that without actually having a sim paint on the door, but I had her, it's my sim self actually, paint this beautiful mural. I know, I'm super talented. Um, so <laughs> that was sarcasm, okay, I didn't do anything. See, I know that some, I'm gonna say stuff like that and some people won't realize that I, I'm just kidding, but, um, yeah, so I had her paint this and I wanted it to fit with the color scheme of the rest of this room. But the thing is, I can't remember the murals and how they look because it's been a while since I've done any of them in The Sims or I've used any of them for decor. So the one I remembered the best is the city one. So that's the one I decided to go with. It's a little bit darker than what I would want it to be, but I still th it's still blue. So it, it still ties everything. It still fits into the room. It's just a little bit darker, but I like the idea of like, maybe she's a little bit artistic or something and she just had some fun with the garage door to kind of like cover it up because it is supposed to be a renovated garage and stuff and when life gives you lemons, you make murals, apparently, you know? I know that doesn't make any sense because it's supposed to be like, when there's negative stuff, you turn it into something positive. I don't know about you guys, but I don't like lemonade. So like, <laughs> I don't care for that saying anyway. I'm just gonna use it the way that I want to, okay? So she turned the garage door into a mural instead. I don't know, I think it's a super cool item, that item. I guess to use it a lot, along with the actual mural from City Living, the one that's like big. I think I tried to use that at the start and then I was like, it doesn't make sense with the garage door outside. So we're just gonna do something else. I was also having issues with the whole layout of this room. I didn't want there to be a direct passage from the door to the bedroom. Like I wanted there to be, first of all, because it seems a little bit cold, but also a little bit creepy. <laughs> I don't know. It's a little bit creepy. So I wanted there to be some kind of like, some kind of obstacle. That sounds weird. Uh, either a wall or a bookcase between the door and the bedroom area. I don't know, I just get these thoughts and then I just need to stick with them. That's just the way it is. And um, I decided to, in the end, add a wall and then a an archway and then cover it up with some of those beads. I filled those up, uh, the shelves right there, off cam. I just forgot to do it on cam. So it's there's like a box and some magazines and stuff, but yeah, I forgot to do it on cam. Apologies for that one. And then out here, this is like their own little hallway. So they have shoes and more shoes and boxes and lots of bags. And I thought it was super cute for this teen. Like I would have loved a space like this, maybe in a little bit of a different color scheme when I was a teen. I feel like it would have been super cool to just have my own space in the color scheme that I wanted myself, even though I feel like I'm very basic, black, white, and gray, you know, super creative. Um, but, but anyway, if my dad would have let me paint my wall, I would have done so and I would have had the best time with it. It would have been great. I mean, it would, would have ended up looking awful, but it would have been a good time regardless. Maybe that's what The Sims is, just living out your dreams through the game. Is that what it is? I don't know. But also, I'm not a teen anymore. If I want to paint on my wall, I can kind of do that. I would probably get in trouble with my landlord, but maybe it would be worth it. I don't know. 
Should I ch No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Actually, I think I am allowed to because in Denmark, you're allowed to both paint. According to my contract, I'm allowed to, allowed to both paint, but also drill and some other stuff I can't remember. Uh, so as long as the walls are white when I leave this apartment, I'm allowed to paint, but I don't have the time anyway. <laughs> It would have, it's a good idea. I like the thought. It's the thought that can't, well, that's, that doesn't fit in the situation either. But anyway, we moved on to landscaping. So I ended up, this took me such a long time placing down these, whatever they are from Spot A possibly. They're supposed to be these like slabs, I think, that you use for the fountain tool or just lining up fountains or something. I never use the fountain tool. I think I've used it like, 10 times max. Well, no, because I used to make ponds with it actually. But as for actual fountains, I think I've made 10 max. And mostly they've not been fountains. You can probably find them on some of my older contemporary builds when I used to have fun with water and stuff on them. I don't really do that anymore. I don't know, that was a trend for a while and then now we do other stuff, you know? But anyway, maybe we should bring it back, bring back the fountains. I don't know if I feel that, it's too much water. Uh, but I often use these slabs for, I almost said gardening, but I mean landscaping. So they're just, instead of having these like, because I like lining up, sometimes I like lining up the areas where I'm supposed to do my landscaping. And if you always use the like, um, the, the fences, the low fences and all those, like the get to work thing and the base game thing, you know, those very low fences. Um, that is probably not called fences in real life, but they're under fences in The Sims. Uh, you know, if you keep using those, they're gonna stick to the grid and it would be very squared and stuff. So with these kind of slabs and also some other items in the game, you can kind of make more organic looking, rounded, shaped, uh, sort of framed up areas for landscaping instead. So I like to play around with these. It just takes a very long time to place down. <laughs> it's a lot of slabs, I know. It's super interesting watching me place down like 200 of these slaps. It was a lot of clicking too, let me tell you. It was a lot of clicking. And at the end, I was sitting here like, are we done? Can we just be done? <laughs> like, you start out thinking it's such a good idea, like with these slaps, just thinking like, oh, this is gonna look so great around the whole house. And then when you get halfway through, it's like, why am I doing this to myself? I've been in those kind of situations a couple of times with landscaping in The Sims, I'm not gonna lie. If you watch the, uh, what's it called? The first son of the US and the Prince of Wales or whatever it was. If you watch that house, I placed like 300 hedges around the, uh, the lot. It was a lot, like, it was so many hedges and I did it on stream and I was going, actually, <laughs> I was not having a good time. I was regretting it, major regrets. So, but we, we got through it, just like we got through the slaps here, we got through it. And they look good, right? They look cool. They look like they fit the house. I went with gray because it looked great in the, uh, the with winter, but they're also covered up with snow, <laughs> by the way. Like, I actually placed them down because I was like, it's gonna look great with the white, and then they all got covered up with white snow. So, you know, that was the thing. I'm not sure that I do this on cam, but I did change this to summertime at some point to see what the landscaping looked like when all the plants are green and flowery again, and just to make sure that everything looked good, and also to make sure that nothing was poking through the walls because they do, they do become a little bit more... They have more volume. They take up more space. I don't know how to phrase that. Uh, if if it's uh, if if they're not half dead as they are right now, so I just wanted to make sure that nothing was poking through the walls, and I also wanted to make sure that the colors were working together. The colors that I end up going with, because it's a little bit hard to tell right now with everything just being br brown and dead essentially. But it is it works. I checked during summer. I just can't remember if I did that on cam, and we're back to snow because you know. I don't know, I did not know what to do with this backyard because in my head I'm like, if the backyard is snowy or just filled with snow, I don't want to be outside. So like, what do you do? <laughs> How do you fill up a backyard with activities when you don't think that your sims want to be outside? So they ended up only having this like 
grill and then a dining table and there's also a pergola over here which I kind of imagine that during summertime they have different furniture under the pergola but right now there's a couple of benches this like super rustic pallet whatever that's called um table and that's essentially it a couple of candles as well but it's like it would be unused because why would you want to sit out there i don't know seems cold like i wouldn't want to do that but i don't know maybe you guys have different maybe you like just sitting outside in the cold i'm not judging you if you like that good for you just make sure you stay warm like dress up you know put on a, a nice coat or something but yeah, they also got a couple of plant pots, but that's it. Other than that, we're done with the build. So if you guys like it, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT, and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the trade files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box, as well as in the pinned comment. If you like books and you like booktube, check out my booktube channel. It's linked to in the pinned comment as well. And uh, look forward to a couple more Christmassy kind of or wintry kind of builds as well. Because uh, we're going to be doing them here. So I hope you're looking forward to them. But that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Soon.